Good morning, everyone. I know we're almost at the end of the session. Um, I also just realized that my profile picture is actually exactly what I'm wearing today, and that was <laughs> not planned. But anyway, um, I want to just talk a little bit about, um, I mean, obviously, we've heard a lot of, lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of sessions this morning that talk about diversity, talk about inclusion. Um, my area that, that, that what we're seeing when we're talking to HR practitioners, not just in Singapore but around the region, is, uh, is an area that companies are starting to look at in a way. And I have some personal experience as well, which I want to share with you. Um, and that is really around managing multi generational workforce. So people in the workforce today are diverse in terms of their age. Um, you know, I also believe that there are different ways to handle these topics and also using multi-generational workforce to companies' advantages, whether you are growing or whether you are expanding or looking for new avenues of business as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll dive into those as well. Um, just a very quick overview of, of ADP. If you're, if you're not sure who ADP is, we're a global managed payroll service provider um, headquartered in the US, um, been in existence for 75 years. Um, for a payroll company, that's a long time, and, and also uh, the way that we have evolved and our people have evolved is, uh, is testament to that as well. We have operations all around the world. Um, in Southeast Asia is the area that I cover uh, with, 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 uh, with my team here. Um, we look after uh, all of the markets in Southeast Asia, and it's an area of, of growth for us, so we are looking at um, how we can expand our business in, in this region as well. And primarily what we do in this region is manage payroll. And if you don't know what that is, is that organizations outsource their payroll to us so that they can focus on activities that drive their business strategy or goals for the organization as well. Um, so moving into the topic of, um, of the area that I wanted to cover, obviously, the importance of multi-generational workforce in the, in, in the Philippines. Um, Generational demographics of the Philippine workforce, obviously you'll be familiar with, uh, with most of these terminologies, baby boomers, Generation X, millennials, Generation Z. Um, and these are uh, generations that exist in the workforce today and how they interact with each other is also quite crucial as well. And prior to joining ADP, I worked for about a year and a half for Grab. I ran a regional role for them, um, managing uh, five core markets for, for Grab, including the Philippines as well. Um, when I joined, I was the oldest person, pretty much the oldest person in the, in the group that I managed. And most of that team were early 20s, um, some were late 20s. Um, and when I walked in, I was a bit taken aback because I had never worked with young teams or never worked with a team that young. Communication style was different. They wouldn't really talk. They wouldn't really open up. You would think everything's okay. Then you would randomly get somebody coming in and saying, hey, um, I've been here seven months now and I want a pay rise. Um, the issue with that is not that they want the pay rise. I think it's just really the, the skill set is missing in terms of the way they communicate, the way that um, they, they're not skilled or don't have the tools to be able to communicate. So an area that uh, we worked on with that team is really working on communication skills, um, how to get them more confident and also being more open about um, the way that, they, um, way that they communicate with each other and with different, uh, different levels of people in the organization as well. In the Philippines, there's 60% um, of the labor force is uh, 15, years and, and 15 years old and above. Um, and the largest group of that is 27%, so 24 to 35 year olds. So it's quite a big, um, a big group of, um, of, of, of employees in that, uh, in that segment. Um, so the, the talent pool there is, is, is huge for the Philippines as well. Um, benefits of, of multi-generational workforce, obviously, when you have different generations in an organization, you need to leverage on that um, to look at diverse perspectives. So you would have you know, people who are um, just entering the workforce who would have different perspectives or different ideas. People who have been in the workforce for quite um, a number of years would also have perspectives. And a key area that we implemented in, in Grab and also we're starting to do within ADP is, is providing mentorship as programs as well. So having different groups of your workers talking to each other in a mentor fashion that allows for open collaboration but also builds trust between, um, between employees as well. And again, 
that brings a, um, a mix of experience and, and fresh ideas as well. Now, assessing state of integrational relationships, so generational demographics and hi hiring is, is a key consideration. So which um, business units and functions uh, might have the most misunderstanding, so working on, on, on how you can understand that within your organization. Um, applying the three A's, awareness, authenticity, and accountability. Um, being able to create an inclusive culture for different, uh, different generations as well. So earlier we talked uh, a lot about biases and how do you integrate that from a, uh, from a generational perspective as well. Um, and keeping organizational stereotypes in check as well. So this really comes from you know, be, being able to talk to your, talk to your, your teams or your people um, and being able to identify um, you know, when there are issues and being able to keep those, um, keep those uh, to a minimum as well. So a lot of stereotypes uh, exist in the <coughs> when, when we talk about uh, generational workforce. So baby boomers are known, well, it's a myth or a reality that they are competitive workaholics. So what do we think, myth or reality? Reality. So, if gener they generate merits workaholic label. Uh, sorry, it, it, it's the millennials who take uh, pride in demonstrating complete, complete dedication to, to their work. And I've seen this firsthand as well. So, it's, um, it's a myth. Generation X, they go against traditional rules. The reality is, they tend to be hardworking, responsible, and family focused. And millennials have no loyalty and are job hoppers. College educated millennials stay with their employers a little longer than members of Gen X did when they were the same age. And Gen Z, digital natives who grew up with the internet, they view privacy as an outdated concept. More likely that more likely than members of any other generation take action to protect their data privacy. So, some of the strategies that we've leveraged for, as we, we, we some strategies for leveraging a multi-generational workforce, obviously training programs um, that are tailored to different learning styles. And again, when we talk about different learning styles, how are they? Are they inform in in-person training sessions? Are they online? Are they conducted um, through the use of gamification, for example? Are all um, examples of training programs that, um, that we've implemented and, and, and are, are, look, are, are possible for companies to, um, to implement as well. Um, flexible policies, so accommodating various, uh, various needs and preferences uh, are key as well. Uh, engagement initiatives, so again we talked today a lot about a lot of engagement activities, a lot of ways to get people involved and then this needs to be really how you get different generations of your, of your workforce involved together as well. So in, in conclusion, I mean, multi-generational workforce unlocks growth and success for, for all companies. Um, one of the things that I like to see here in the, uh, in, well, in Southeast Asia and in the Philippines in particular, is how Filipino companies are now going to start to expand outside of the Philippines and leveraging your generational workforce to, be, to help you to do that. Um, it's an area that, um, that I feel Filipino companies should uh, or, or can start to look at to, to, to basically use that to, their, um, use that to their advantage as well.